everyone, it's Lydia here at Lydia's Leisurely Stitching. Thanks for stopping by my floss tube channel. This is a place where I talk about cross stitch and I want to welcome anyone that's new and welcome back anyone that's been here before. So my last video was at the end of March, beginning of April, and I haven't done very much stitching since then, but I just went to StitchCon Weekend B and I am home now. And I'm hoping that my stitchy bug will be reinvigorated by my time there. So I thought today I would show you what I worked on at StitchCon, the progress I made while I was there, and share a little bit about my plans for the future. So while I was at StitchCon, I had two finishes, and I'm really excited about that. So the first one is Swamp Witch by Owl Forest Embroidery. And I'll put in a picture of where it was last time I showed it to you. And this is stitched on 32 count Lugana in Dolce de Leche by Fiber and the Wind. And here it is, all finished. I really enjoyed stitching this piece. I've got another one, um, Grandfather Mushroom, that I'm hoping to start soon. So on this piece, a couple of changes I made. Her hair was supposed to be um, in like a green, greenish blue color, uh, the same color as the dragonfly wings. And I changed it to be brown. And she was supposed to have um, chicken feet. But I'm, I'm changing her to be more like me, and so I didn't want her to have chicken feet, so I gave her little boots instead. Um, the light green that the frogs are was supposed to be um, an overdyed variegated floss, and the brown of the cattails was also supposed to be a variegated floss, and I chose those two um, regular DMCs because I didn't like the variegation. Um, that's something that I learned stitching on this piece. I haven't used variegated floss very much before, and it stresses me out um, trying to figure out where the variegation should go. So with her dress, that's a variegated floss. You can see that there's some brown and some green there. And so I took special care to match up the floss so that the left side and the right side would be symmetrical in their variation of color. So I'm really happy with this one and I have plans to take it to the framer. And then the second finish I had at StitchCon was Saltwater Scrapbook by Lindy Stitches in the Blue Flower. And it is stitched on 32 count Mercedes by Picture This Plus Lugana. And this is where it was last time I showed it to you. I stitched on this a lot since then. Um, basically the only thing I worked on in May was this piece. I stitched on it for 15 days in May. And here it is all finished. So I chose only to do five of the nine blocks. I'm going to hang this in a skinny space in between two windows in my house. Bring it in. The seagulls. Those were a favorite at StitchCon. The pirate. The octopus. The shark who has just the best expression in the world. I love him. And then the squid. So I stitched these so from top to bottom in the order that you would find them. So you'd find the seagulls in the air, then the man walking on land, the octopus building a sand castle on the ground, the fish floating through the sea, and the squid on the bottom of the ocean with the eager. So there's that one. And then I had a new start. So I didn't do very much purchasing at StitchCon. Um, I kind of like to plan my purchases. And so if I see something I like, I tend to think about it a while before I purchase it. And there wasn't anything there that like really grabbed me. 
but I did buy three pieces of fabric because I was starting this piece. I had brought some fabric with me, but when I started it on that fabric, it wasn't showing up very well, so I needed to try something different. So I just got three fat eights um, to play around with and see which one would look best, the pattern would look best on. So the one um, that I'm talking about is Plum Pudding by With My Needle and Thread, and this is a picture of what it'll look like when it's finished. And I'm stitching on this on a mystery 32 count Lugana. It didn't, it was just like a remnant in the fabric bucket at Keepsakes. And this is what I've gotten done so far. So I finished the cake in the cake stand, the spatula. I've got the arm of this mouse and most of this mouse done along with some of his red dress. I'm really pleased with the amount I got done. I think this is going to stitch up, stitch up fairly quickly, which is good because um, this is a piece my husband picked out. So it's not exactly my favorite, but I want to make it for him. And so, yeah, stitching it up quickly will be nice. So those are my finishes and new starts from StitchCon. Um... I also had one new start um, back in April. This was for um, hashtag 2x2 on 22 Sal. We're doing this e-crafting in Colorado. And we both started a 2x2 stitch art at Seapiece on the 22nd of April. And I started um, Celtic Knock Tree of Life. It's by 2x2 stitch art on Etsy, obviously. Um, and I'm stitching this on 32 count Lugana um, Dark Olive. And I've done about 1,200 stitches. Here it is. It's looking really good. Um, unfortunately, there's some errors in it. And I'm not exactly sure <laughs> where they are. Um... Yeah, I tried fudging it, but in some spaces, there's only, like, one free stitch width between two of the curves. So, it's going to be kind of hard to fudge. And I might have to go back and figure out where where they were and rip out. Um, yeah, so my plan originally was to kind of work half of the tree and work from top to bottom. Um, but then I'm working in, like one, two, three, four different places, and so I'll do a strand, and then do a strand over here, and then do a strand over here, to kind of keep them even as they move down, um, and I think that that's what's causing me problems, and that I should work on one, and then work on the next one, complete this one, and then move on, and then if this one is off by one, I can make the other two off by one as well, um, to kind of fudge it a little bit better. Yep, yeah, so that's Celtic Knot Tree of Life. And then we have a place of her own. So I worked on a place of her own for 2,000 stitches in April, for 500 stitches in May, and then I did 2,000 stitches this weekend at StitchCon. So we've got some progress. Um, I've got progress in two different areas. So I have been working in the um, carpet on the floor, and it is so full of confetti that I do wonder if that might be what burned me out and kept me from stitching on it for basically six weeks. Um, so when I was at StitchCon, I moved over and I worked on the dress instead. So I've got uh, two before photos to show you, and this is a place of her own, artwork by James Christensen by Heaven and Earth Designs. I'm stitching this 2 over 1 on 18 count Sam Ada.
So here's where I was working um, before StitchCon, down in the carpet, and it is it is just chock full of confetti. You can see how many of my little stitches I have, um, just ones and twos. So that's been um, really a lot to work through. Um, I thought when I finished this over here that the confetti would get easier. It hasn't, it's just gotten worse. Um, it's, it's an insane amount of confetti. Um, so while I was at StitchCon, I decided to go work on the dress instead. Here's where that is right now. Um, I filled in a little bit of this, again, the carpet. I found it over here. Can't get away from it. So I filled in a little bit of this, and then mainly my 2,000 stitches were in this area, bringing the dress over. So going forward, um, I think I'm going to go back to the bottom and try working on the carpet again. Um, I did some calculations while at StitchCon. And if I do 100 stitches a day, then I can have it done in two years. Um, 100 stitches a day is a reasonable amount when I stitch. But I don't stitch every day. Um, so I'm thinking maybe um, making it a goal to do 100 stitches a day. Or at least 700 stitches a week. Um, because I would like to have some time to work on other projects. I don't want to be working on only one piece. So uh, what I had been doing before was trying to do a thousand stitches Monday through Friday and then having, well, my Monday through Friday, I work Tuesday through Saturday. So doing a thousand stitches on a place of her own Tuesday through Saturday and then having Sunday and Monday to work on another piece. Um, so I'm wondering if I can go back to that. Or just try to do like 100 to 125 stitches a day, um, Tuesday through Saturday. And then that's still a little less than 700 stitches a week. But um, if I can just tell myself just do 100, maybe I'll be able to work through this and come out the other side. So uh, that's all I have for you today. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to read them down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.